y'all, my name is Tanya, and I'm a graduate student here at the University of Georgia. But I'm not busy being a student, going to games, going to class, doing research. I love to cook for my friends and family. So what do you say we head on back to my place and whip up some apple cheesecake cupcakes? So y'all ready to make some apple cheesecake cupcakes? I guess so. Okay. So what we need to get started, 48 shortbread cookies. Sounds like a lot, but we're going to take 12 of them and we're going to cut them up. Use the food processor, stick them in a bag, take a hammer to them, whatever you need to get a nice good crumb out of them. The rest of those cookies, about 36, we're going to use so we can put them at the base of our cupcakes. So we'll get to that in a minute. We also need two pounds of cream cheese, Philly cream cheese, a whole cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, four eggs, room temperature, lightly beaten, a cup of sour cream, and then we need our mixture of cloves, one teaspoon, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of allspice. Get a nice little mixture. You might recognize that from some of our apple pie recipes. We also need three medium apples, a half a cup of butter, and just a pinch of salt. So, to get started, we took our baking liners and we lined each of the cups of our muffin pan. Now we're going to take our cookies and just drop them right in the bottom and create a crust. Now, if you've ever ventured out to the State Fair and had a fried Oreo, they're quite wonderful, then what you get is a flavor not unlike that. It's nice and warm and even after they've chilled, it's got this consistency that's kind of like heaven in your mouth. And since it's shortbread and they're made with butter, it's just all the more better. Okay, so we're done with that. I've already taken two of our apples, peeled them, and shredded them. So we're just going to take this last one and finish up. And now we're ready to saute this up with the spices. So we'll take our handy recipe card, our apples and our butter, and our spices to the stove. Okay. So we're going to turn the oven on, turn it back down to just a little bit below high. We're going to take our butter, drop it right in that skillet. Get the pan nice and evenly coated. You know, as Paula says, butter makes everything better. Can't argue with Paula. Since the butter's almost there, we'll go ahead and take our bowl of apples. Just dump all of that right in. Apple juice and all. And here it starts that wonderful system. Spread it out in the pan. Get that butter mixed in thoroughly. We'll get our spices. Sprinkle those right in. Mix it all up nice and good. You want to make sure we get an even coat of those spices across all of the apple. And it doesn't take long. We'll just do this nice quick little saute for about three to five minutes. And we're just about there. So, we'll turn the stove off. Smooth it out because it's going to sit here for a little while while we get the rest of this going. So here we are. We're ready to get everything mixed up get these cupcakes going, but before we do that, we want to get our oven going, so we're going to set it to 275 and let that get warm up while we mix everything. So we're going to start with our cream cheese, just drop it straight in, that's been sitting at room temperature for a couple of hours, so that'll help us out when we want to get it mixed up nice and fluffy. So, we start with our cream cheese, we get our hand mixer out, and we mix. Shut it 
out for a second, set that down, because next up is our apple mixture. So we're just going to scrape this all into the bowl. mixing in the cookies. Scrape down the sides as you need to and now we're ready to pour. So it's time to get the cupcake tin out. So we've got our batter, we've got our cookies in our tins, we're ready to make some cupcakes. I'm a big fan of using a ladle to pour it into the measuring cup. It's got that nice little spout makes it easy. So we'll just go through and pour each cupcake. We want to get it almost to the top and go to the next. Not too difficult. Of course, it's very messy, but messy makes it good. At least that's what Mama always said. One whole batch of cupcakes, depending on how full you make your cups, will make anywhere from 24 to 36 cupcakes. So they're great for school parties. You can refrigerate them and put them in containers to take to send off with little Susie to school. No, no cupcakes. They're great for work potlucks, looking for that dish to take in. Everybody always runs to the grocery store for cookies. Give them something homemade next time. We're ready to go in the oven. So we'll take this back to our oven. Set it right in the middle. And now we set the timer. So we want to go for 11 minutes. And then after 11 minutes, we'll come back, we'll check on them, flip them around, and let them go for 11 more minutes. So, let's keep pouring some cupcakes. Okay, so the timer's gone off. Our 11 minutes are up. Josh in his awesome Mexican shirt with his awesome scorpion belt is my assistant. So, assistant, we're going to check the cupcakes. We're going to get ourselves a little towel out. They're looking good. So, let's just make them yet? Not yet. We're going to flip it around, make sure that they get cooked evenly. Put them back in the center. Push the tray back in. 11 more minutes. So, we'll hit the timer and we wait. So, our time is up. Let's see what our cupcakes look like. <laughs> we'll get our handy little towel and pot holder. Pull it out. Oh, look at that. Notice when I jiggle it, they don't move. And apparently my cameraman is making noises because he wants cupcakes. Later. We'll get our next batch ready. Set those right in the middle of the rack. Pop it back in. So, from here on out, it's just taking them out of the tin. We'll let them cool for a little bit. And then we'll put them in the fridge for four hours. You can even put them in there overnight if you need to. So when we get done, we'll have delicious apple cheesecake cupcakes. Hope it's been easy. See you next time. How do you love them? I love them so much. They, they taste like my childhood. They taste like everything that's good in this world. And what about Disney? And they taste better than Disneyland Fields. Sarah? I had to peel the paper off because it was getting in my way. Nicole? This is really awesome. Really. I'm enjoying it a lot. Diane. All I can say is... Fun. <laughs> the cream cheese of anarchy. She's anti-dessert, so the fact that she'll eat it is pretty telling. This is ridiculously awesome.